Hello, my name is Nick Taylor and this is a short introductory video about these gadgets that I make, Golden Ratio Calipers. Um, the Golden Ratio is a mathematical ratio which for some reason people find particularly aesthetically pleasing. Um, to the best of my knowledge, nobody is really terribly sure why that might be, other than that it turns up in the human body a lot. Um, it's also known as the golden section, golden mean, golden ratio, Fibonacci ratio. They are all words for the same, all names for the same thing. Um, I tend to swap between golden mean and golden ratio, but they all mean the same thing. Um, the ratio itself is um, 1 to 1 1.618, which sounds kind of random, but isn't really, it's a bit like pi, um, it's one of these mathematical constants which um, turns up in geometry all the time, and nature all the time, um, and the human body all the time, as I say, um, you probably see it all the time, um, in the dimensions of credit cards for example, um, the ratio of that length to that length is 1 to 1.618. Um, there's a thing called the canons of book design, the canons of page print. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. I'll look it up, shall I? Um, canons of page construction. There you go. Um, the way books are laid out um, tends to be according to a set of principles which were made up quite a while ago. Um, you know, the, the width of the page compared to the height and the size of the margins and so on. Um, and that's all based on the golden ratio as well. Um, Twitter used to be based on it, I don't think it is anymore, but last time I looked, Facebook um, was based on the golden ratio, so the distance between you know, the centre column and one of the side columns is the golden ratio, and side column and smaller side column is also the gold ratio, so um, I don't think Twitter do it anymore, but if you Google um, Twitter golden ratio design, you'll find a load of websites which go into how they used to use it before. You'll probably find the same thing for Facebook, in fact. Um, so, um, it's been around, it's been used consciously for at least the last 3,000 years. The ancient Greeks were quite keen on it, um, but it also shows up in the, the big pyramids in Egypt, which might be a coincidence. Um, but pretty much wherever you find art or architecture anywhere on the planet, you'll find the golden ratio. So it's in the Taj Mahal in India, for example, and the Alhambra in Spain is a particularly spectacular example. Um, thousand year old Viking chess pieces also have it. It is everywhere. Um, which, it, as I say, is possibly not a surprise because it does turn up in the human body a lot. Um, I found the easiest way for me to describe it to people who haven't heard of it is to say, you, remember, you know that picture that Leonardo da Vinci did of the man with his arms in a circle, like so? Um, he did that to demonstrate the human body is made up of you know, sets of mathematical ratios. Um, and he was right. Uh, if you take an x-ray of your hand, for example, the ratio between that length and that length is 1 to 1 1.618 and same with the next one and same with the next one and I think um, the ratio between your whole hand and um, your forearm is also 1 to 1 1.618 it shows up everywhere um, and the way I um, explain this to myself um, which is something I have no evidence for whatsoever um, is to sort of theorise that um, the golden ratio is part of the arithmetic logic unit of DNA. It's, um, it's kind of embedded in the way that DNA does maths. Um, but as I say, I've got no evidence for that at all. So, you know, it makes sense to me. Um, anyway, um, I think that's probably it as far as the golden ratio goes. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, there will be dozens of videos here or wherever they are, um, which go into much greater detail and do a much better job of explaining it than I've just done. Um, Wikipedia has got about 20 feet of <laughs> really dense mathematics, um, which is far beyond me, alas. Um, 
it's you know if, if you google and whatever you can find out more about it but this video is mainly to do with um, showing off these things which I make um, okay so how do they work um, the way they work is the arms pull apart like so a bit like scissors I've got a close-up camera here um, the arms pull apart like so like scissors um, and the distance between those two tips and those two tips is always 1 to 1.618. Um, and there's another way you can use these to measure the golden ratio. The distance between those and the whole thing is 1 to 1.618. So, the example of the credit card, um, if that's 1, then that's 1 to 1.618. Um, or, that's one, that's one to one point six one eight. And that, in a nutshell, is that. That's how they work. Um, very simple, really. Okay, um, how they're made. They are made out of laser cut stainless steel here in New Zealand. Um, steel's one and a half millimeters thick. Uh, I started out years ago, about seven years ago, making them a lot thinner, um, 0.9, but as time's gone by I've just made them more and more heavy duty. I actually do a really heavy duty version, I do a 2mm thick version for people who shoe horses. Um, so if you want those, let me know. Um, those screws are stainless steel machine screws, um, which are kept in place with brass inserts, um, which um, sort of help create the tension, they make tension right so um, you get you know, proper smooth action without them sort of flopping about. Um, so that's it, the um, the finish, I used to use a Black & Decker and a rust stripping wheel and brush them by hand or one at a time um, but these days I've started using a similar process to how gemstones are polished. Um, they are tumbled for days um, in this um, it's, it's kind of like little pyramids made out of um, ceramics um, and what that does is it takes all the sharp edges off and it, it kind of pummels the surface um, which hardens the steel um, so they wind up being quite a lot more scratch resistant than they otherwise would be. Um, and that's it as far as those go. Um, I make, they come in cases which I make out of layers of laser cut hardboard um, a hardboard is a kind of dense, um, kind of a dense particle board, which I think is waterproof in this case. Um, the lid is held on with magnets, which give a satisfying click. <laughs> Once you start making things with magnets, you can't really go back. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah. Um, so there's uh, the hardboard version, um, and I also make uh, kind of frosted acrylic version like so which is quite quite svelte and sci-fi looking I think I think it's quite cool um, so there you go there's those they are made here in New Zealand by me and a couple of my friends who are proper classically trained industrial design guys um, my background is computers um, and the other guys are a lot more qualified to be doing this stuff than me, um, but between us I think we've come up with a really nice sort of little thing. Um, so there you go. I've got three different sizes of these ones. There's, these are the medium size which are 18 millimeters tall. There's also um, the big ones um, which are 32 centimetres tall, um, these would be more useful for sculpture or larger pieces of art. Um, so there's those, and there's little baby ones. Um, these ones are 12 centimetres tall and mainly used by beauticians or people doing facial measurements um, because, for example, the distance between your eyebrows and the length of an eyebrow is the golden mean. Um, so there's those three, those are kind of the, the main design. Um, I also do these, um, which are specifically made for cosmetic surgeons um, because the tips can measure much smaller distances. Um, 
the way these work is the distance between those tips and those tips is always 1 to 1.618 so that's the golden clips if I do that one there that's a golden man like that that's a golden man like that so there you go it's um, millimetres on one side and inches on the other side um, and on a similar principle there's these smaller circular ones um, so that distance there compared to that distance there is the golden mean as well who would use them? Um, the variety of people who use these things has absolutely blown my mind um, when I first started making about seven years ago I imagined that they would be useful for artists and designers and architects and so on but um, the first, and I was selling about one a week and then there was a sudden wave of hundreds of stock exchange day traders all turning up at the same time um, because um, if you take a like you know a graph like a stock exchange graph with a sort of valley and a peak um, and you um, you know make that the height of the thing um, there's points of tension um, where people are reluctant to buy or sell there's, there's one at 50% there's one at golden mean either side of that and there's another golden mean one and they what do they call it they call it they've got a special word for it um, they call it um, Fibonacci retracements um, which is actually fairly well known. It's so well known, in fact, that um, a lot of um, stock exchange software, the sort of graphical software, has an option where you can overlay the golden mean onto um, the, the sort of peaks and troughs and so on. Um, but to me, that came as a total surprise. I never imagined that at all. Um, so, stock exchange day traders use them. Uh, I sell quite a lot to farriers recently. Um, people who shoe horses, um, luthiers, people who make violins and guitars, musical instruments. The original Stradivarius design, the template, is heavily based on the golden mean. Um, 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 who else? There's a, a lot of sort of small niche kind of things, like people who make firearms, people who make stone walls, um, pipe manufacturers, people who do wood turning, people who do pottery. Um, the, most of them um, go to people who, uh, whose work is concerned with dimensions of the human face, so um, beauticians and cosmetic surgeons or forensic anthropologists, portrait artists and so on. Um, and I think that's about all I can remember right now, um, where you can get them. Um, they are available on my website which is www.goldenmeancalipers.com I'll write it down there um, also available on Amazon and Etsy and eBay most of them go via Amazon or my website my website usually has a bit more variety in what's available um, and my contact details are in the bottom corner of my website so if there's anything different you would like, like if for example if you would like your own logo on the case or something like that so you can get in touch um, and that's it I think um, thanks for watching